What's up, y'all? It's Junior with Extreme Outdoors. Today, we're taking the kids out fishing in the bay. My boat is still getting uh, Sea Keeper installed, so I don't have my 30-foot Cobia, but we have our trap house. It's a 16-foot Key Largo flats boat. We're gonna hit the bay. We're gonna go after mangrove, teach the kids how to do the mangrove fishing. We're gonna chum the water, see what we catch, and we're gonna rip it up and show you guys how we do it family time. Now you can see Julian put the chum block into the water. We use tournament chum, master tournament chum. Thank you very much, Julian. Are you ready? You're excited to get some mango samples? Hell yeah, bro. We about let's to get some mango samples. Yes, sir. Let's get it. Like 16 year old rappers. Let's get it. <laughs> we got the power poles down. And today, I'm going to let Justin record it now. So today, we're using our toadfish seven foot light action rods equipped with Stella 6,000 reels. Uh, I, you know, I, I got the Stella 30,000s for our offshore excursions and ever since I got those reels, I really fell in love with Stella. They're smooth, they're, they're dreamy almost. So we're gonna pretty much start upgrading all of our reels to be Stella reels. You know, they're very pricey, but you know, you get what you pay for. So we're gonna put these rigged up with, as we have one already set up. Here, Julian, hold that one. This one, same rod, identical rig. We got it rigged up with South Florida Fishing Channel snapper rigs. I think this is a one ounce sinker. I'm pretty sure it's a one ounce sinker. And we're gonna put chunked ballyhoos or chunked uh, pieces of some kuda that we have after we let this chum dissolve a little bit and bring the, the fish around the boat. And then we're gonna see what we do. All right, oh, no, it's on. All right we got a fish on. Julian got a fish on. And I think he got his stuff, his first little mango. Slowly, let's bring it in close to the boat so you can bring it right in. Bring it right in, bring it inside the boat, inside the boat, inside the boat, inside the boat. Inside the boat. Yeah. All right, Julian with the first mango of the day. Let's go. All right. All right. Let's get this sucker on. Damn, he went deep on that hook. Yeah. That's why we bring the de hooker. Open up, buddy. All right, well, we got our first little mangrove snapper. Let's make sure he's a legal one. We have the cooler right here. What we do is we put him right. And he is definitely a keeper. 12 inch mangrove snapper, uh, Julian. Yeah. Bringing them in, that's what's up. Beautiful little mangrove snapper, that's the way I like them. Delicious. All right, guys. We're catching fish here in the bay and that's what's awesome. Catching mangrove snappers out here in the, in the Key Largo Bay is, you know, you cannot stay with one rig. You cannot say, hey, I'm gonna use Freeliner rig and just count on the Freeliner rig. No, sometimes you gotta switch it up. You gotta put a, a, an eighth of an ounce weight, uh, maybe a half an ounce, you know, something to get it to go down a little bit and not float up on top. So, you know, I got about an uh, eighth of an ounce weight on my uh, snapper rig. Julian's going with the Freeliner up on top. You know, he hooked his first mangrove snapper. So, you know, rock on Julian, you know, he's kicking ass. So we're gonna see what else we can catch here. Hopefully we, you know, we load up on three or four more mangrove snapper and get ready for dinner tonight. And we'll make this into a catch and clean. I mean, a catch and cook. Come on. Get up, Justin. All right, and we have another mangrove snapper. Julian on the Freeliner rig, really doing it. This one might be a little too small. So we're gonna check him out for you. Yeah, he's definitely a little baby. He's a little feisty baby though. Yeah. All right. But yeah, he's uh, about an uh, eight incher. So we're gonna go ahead and release this one back into the wild. Shoot, come over here, come over here. Whoa. Look at the nurse shark. Are you recording? Huh? All right, so you see we have a nurse shark attacking our chum bag. They love that chum bag. Oh, and, oh, and we got a fish on. I got fish, fish on fish. right now. Whoa. We got a fish on. So we got the, the, the nurse shark bringing in all the fishies. I see the mangroves are down there. So we're going to bring him into the boat. Let's see what we got here. Feels like a nice little snapper bite. Oh, yeah. Look at him come. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That was not a baby. Yeah. Pretty good size. Bam. Bam. Nice mangrove snapper. Yeah, baby. Look at that. They're so pretty. Yeah, bro. They blend right into the mangroves, hence the yeah. color. That's why they call them mangrove snapper. 
So we're gonna grab this sucker right here. And we're gonna see where we are at with his size. And to the tip. Oh yeah, let me see. We have a he's about half an inch short, so we're gonna him unhook him. Like that, and let him right in. Boom, off he goes. Oh, he's gone. Oh no, he's back. What's that? You're like a little fish right there. That's perfect. All right, guys. You see, we got three mangrove snappers on the boat already. Two of them were a little bit small. That last one I caught was like half an inch short. You know, it happened. You know, we're out here, you know, most more to enjoy the day, to spend the time with the family, the kids, teach them what we love to do most and, you know, harvest our own meal for tonight. I'm planning on making fish tacos tonight, so the more mangrove snappers we catch, the better. Oh, yes. Yes, we got a good bite on this one. Oh, oh hopefully it's big. Oh, that's a manatee. There's a manatee down there. We caught a manatee? I, don't ca I didn't catch a manatee. I caught oh. a fish. Oh. But there's a manatee down there. Yeah, that thing is Justin, get that manatee. Look at the size of that manatee. That must be like a seven or eight foot manatee. Oh my God. And a nice big fish on this rock. I can't even see the manatee. What the fish? It's right there. It's over there, Bobby. Right there. Okay, we got the fish on. We're bringing him into the boat. Let's see what we got. All right. See the fishes. Damn, this thing is huge. Oh, that is huge. Bam, mama and the papas. Exactly what we were talking about. A massive mangrove snapper. That's what we're after today. We're looking for these big boys, the ones that have the big teeth. Let's see if we can get you to look at this teeth if he doesn't get crazy on me, which he probably is going to get crazy on me. Oh, man, yeah, crazy as hell. But look at that, look at that. Stop spinning. Look, let's just get a good view of you. Look at Ooh, those I got teeth. teeth. I got teeth. Yeah, that's what you want to avoid. You want to avoid getting in the path of those teeth because they will sink into you. I know he won't rip off your arm, but damn it, it'll hurt. <laughs> look at that sucker. That's at least like a third, like a probably. She looks like him. Yeah, he don't even want to be measured. He knows he's going to a cooler. <laughs> Boom. That thing is huge. Man, I think it's so slippery right now. All right, and this guy is... You know, you know I'm freaking big enough to put me in the cooler. Oh yeah, he's like a 13 incher. How much do you need? Awesome, that is great. Minimum limit is 10 inches. Ooh. So, bam, this is what we're after today, guys. And God has blessed us greatly with this. Yes, so, sir. thank God for giving us what we wanted today. And thank you guys for watching. Thank you. On. Baby. Another little baby, but he's on. Catching the babies first, and afterward, you'll get the mamas and the papas like Papa does. All right. Man. Nice little mangrove snapper. Tiny. It was really small. No, right away. All right, we're going to let you go off. Bye bye. And grow so we can catch you later on. Sure. Oh, oh, oh. my rat's about to go off. Oh yeah, they're hitting it. They're hitting it. They're hitting it. You see it? Look at how they hit it. They hit it. They hit it. They hit it. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. oh man. Oh man. I thought he was on for sure. Damn. 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 That thing went. Da, 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 da. <laughs> it happens. No, I got too happy. Yeah. I'm a happy guy. What can I say? Justin. He got it. He got it. You got it. Yeah. Wow. Just. Woo, that was a great bite. Yes. Sir. You got something nice on for sure. This is big. Woo. Sucker ran off with it. Yeah, he comes, he's coming on this side. Oh yeah, he's coming right to the boat. He knows oh, he's yeah. up and he's coming he's in. He's not even trying. <laughs> he's not even trying. Another mama's and the papa's. Here we are catching mangrove snapper and it is good. I'm loving this. It's just one after the other, one after the other. We've only been out here maybe 20, 30 minutes. And we are catching mangrove snappers like they are going out of style into the cooler without a measurement because I know I'm good. Bam! And just like that, we love you guys. We are truly blessed. So, oh man, there's a huge cooler right there. Oh, that was a big cooler. 
You want to quit? So, so, I'm getting a little bit of a bite now. We just emptied out the chum bag. That's the end of that. You know, we got the rods out. Whatever hit hooks now, we hook. Well, if not, that's the end of today. You know, we, we don't get greedy out here. We're very thankful for what we're able to get on a daily basis when we come out fishing. So, man, there's some, some stuff going down down there. You know, the water's real clear. Justin, why don't you get up and come closer? Uh, my son, Justin, he's a little lazy. So he wants to sit down and do everything from a sitting perspective. But, you know, let's show the, the, the world how beautiful this water is. You know, it's a little murky, but it's still pretty clear. They can see it, though. All right, Justin, pointing at me again. All right. So, guys, I want to let you know we're uh, we're getting close to a thousand subscribers on our channel. We've only been doing this for about a month, and you know, I I, I can't say enough how blessed we feel that we're actually reaching a thousand subscribers. You know, it just shows that, that I guess what we do on a regular basis, even if we're not recording it, it's something that you guys are interested in. So we thank you for 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 supporting us. We thank you. For taking us to a thousand you know sky's the limit from there and um, as, uh, as a celebratory uh, thank you to our subscribers and our viewers we will say a number in our next uh, fishing video after this one we're gonna say a number somewhere along the video and then when you hear that number throughout the video we want you to comment below and you must be subscribed you comment below the number that we said and then the first 40 people that comment on on the video which will be the next video that we post. We want, uh, we will enter those 40 viewers or 40 people that comment and they have to be subscribed. We will enter them into a, a, a giveaway that we would do on a live stream where you would win a all-inclusive, all-expense paid trip to fish with us for a four to five day period, depending on your schedule. And you know, it's something that, that, that it's our way of giving back to you guys for what you're doing for us. We love what we do and we want you guys to enjoy it with us and I think it's a, a perfect way to, to, to say thank you. So whatever the number is, we don't know, we're always going to yell out a random number when we do these giveaways, but when we do it, it's, it is to give you guys an opportunity to come out to the Keys, the Florida Keys, and fish with us. And maybe not even fish, we are setting up our land in Collier County, Florida, where it's a, it's a, a, a good amount of land that we have purchased so that we can set up our own preserve and we can take people out hunting for deer, hogs, and different uh, species that we have here in Florida, native species. And maybe you could join us on one of those adventures. We say thank you. We'll show you what we what we caught at the end of the of the trip, and then we'll do a little catch and cook. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you for watching. We love you. Hi, right, guys. Welcome to the kitchen, Extreme Outdoors. I'm Junior, and today we're gonna do fish tacos. So we got here. Our egg, we got two eggs, all-purpose flour, panko breadcrumbs with a little bit of badia sazon complete. Then we have the fish, the mangrove snapper that we caught earlier that we're going to bread, and then the mangrove snapper on this side that we're just going to sear right here in our all-clad frying pan we're doing all this in the outdoor kitchen and uh my wife's preparing the tacos upstairs with a little bit of tomato cilantro real nice and delicious we'll get a, a clip of that later on so first what we're going to do is we're going to turn this on yeah and we got fire so while that's heating up we're going to go ahead and bread these up. What we do is we, we have them nice and seasoned already. We put them here in the flour while they're dry. Just about like that. Shake off the excess. And we dip them in the egg. Take them out. Shake off the excess. And then we bring them here to the panko. And we coat them entirely in the panko. And this little sucker is ready to be fried. So we do this and we repeat this same step over and over. We're gonna cut to it until we have them all pretty much covered in breading. And then we'll show you how we fry them. So we'll be right back. All right guys, so this is how we get these little strips, perfect size for tacos. 
cook them real quick. When we just toss them in the tacos, put the lettuce, the cilantro, the onions, and bam, a little bit of lemon, and we're good to go. So we just drop these in right here, like so. This should take about two to three minutes and they'll be ready to go. I flip them over and the pan fried fish should be ready to go. All right guys, so as you can see, these are cooked pretty much. Two to three minutes is all it took. And they are looking delicious. Rinse them off, put them right here. These will be some very delicious fish tacos. And when you add the cilantro with the onions, it just gives it an extra touch. It becomes something extremely delicious. So now we're gonna add a little bit more oil so that we can do the bread ones. I like to use vegetable oil, canola oil, just about any oil. And we grab them. I will wait till that oil gets real hot. So we're ready to go. We got the oil nice and hot. Just put these in there just like that. I'm get a close up of this. Look how beautiful this looks. Look at that. That's what it's supposed to look right there. A lot of people don't like frying their fish. We've received that in our previous comments. Quite honestly, I don't know how else you eat this if it's not fried. I love my fish fried. Look, let them sit there about a minute and a half on each side. Let them get nice and golden. And then once they are nice and golden, we take them upstairs with the ones that we pan seared. We put them inside the tacos and then we have a family feast, just like we did yesterday, like I said in our, in our fishing video yesterday. Um, we do this for family, we do this to harvest our own meal. There's nothing better than catching your own fish out in the ocean, bringing it in, cooking it. It's, there's no words that describe how beautiful and how delicious eating fish that fresh is. So we'll wrap this up here. We'll show you what it looks like upstairs in our indoor kitchen and uh and then you get to see us eating it hey everybody so tacos are complete here we have a mix of the breaded with the pan seared and here we have breaded and here we have pan seared the avocados red onions tomato with cilantro mixed with a little bit of lime and jalapenos and can't wait to dig in Thank you. See you next time.